Hello and welcome to this Technic Force tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Google API in Tubrank JIT 4. Tubrank JIT 4 allows you to select the right keywords to target and helps you select the best description, tags, and hashtags for you to have the perfect video optimization at any moment. The main problem why your YouTube videos are not getting a lot of viewers is because you are not adding the best tags, hashtags, and keywords. In order for you to discover the best things you are looking to increase the chance that your videos will be displayed in the suggested videos list, we have made this powerful software to make your life easier and more productive. All you need to do is to go to Settings tab on the left side bar and click on the YouTube Client Credentials. It will ask you your client ID, client secret, and the API key. There is also a note below to help you get these following credentials. Click here button. You will be directed to a new window which is the console.developers.google.com. To set everything up, you must have your project created. Click on the project button beside Google APIs and click on the new project button. Enter your project name. Let me have 2 branch G4 as an example. You can actually add whatever names you wanted to. When done, hit create. Click on your project that you created and click on plus icon with enable APIs and services. So you can search for the YouTube Data APIs v3. When done, click enable. Your project is now created. You will be able to see this create credentials. Click it so you can finally add credentials to your project. It will ask you which API you are using. Select on YouTube Data API v3. It will also ask you where will you be calling the API from. Select on other UI. And in regards with the data you will be accessing, select on the public data. When everything's done, Click this What Credentials Do I Need button. And lastly, click on Done. And because our goal is to get private data from YouTube account from another application, we have to create OAuth Client ID. Click on the Create Credentials button and select an OAuth Client ID. To create an OAuth Client ID, you must first set a product name the consent screen. Click on the Configure Consent screen button and click on the internal. Hit Create. With this, just add your app name. I'll add to Brank Jit 4 as an example. Add your email and hit Save and Continue. Going back to Credentials, click Create Credentials and select OAuth Client ID again. A client ID is used to identify a single app to Google's OAuth service. Enter your application type, which is the desktop app, and add a name, then hit create. A box pops up to notify you that your OAuth client is now created. Copy your client ID and paste it to your 2 branch G4 account. Same goes to your client secret. After that, look for the API key and hit on the Copy to Clipboard icon. So you can finally paste it to your 2 branch G4 app. When everything's done, hit Save. Amazing, isn't it? I hope you like this tutorial. We also have a bunch of tutorials in this channel. Take a look and you might also find tutorials about the other apps too, which might help you succeed in internet marketing. Thanks for watching!